Good morning and welcome, Jelly Cube. I am doing something different today. I'm painting on an MDF wooden cutout and it's a monsteria leaf. Is it monsteria leaf? Um, I'm going to paint on it and see what I come up with. It won't be a traditional leaf colour, of course, because, you know, why would I do that? So I will jump in where I feel I need to and continue on with this pour. I've got it, I think I've got it, yeah, on my spinner there. So in case I want to give it a spinny thing. So I'm just putting a base coat, which is just white with um, a little dash of metallic copper in the white, just to send it kind of that off-white colour, like a bit of a sandy colour, I guess. So we'll uh, then from there on, once I've put this base coat on, that's going to enable my top colours to slide over the area nicely. That's the plan. Um, then I'll go for the other colours. My goodness, I'm finding this colour combo really, really beautiful. So I have done a few paintings this week. Um, with this kind of uh, some of these colors and then mixing it up a bit but um, they're absolutely gorgeous that was a burnt umbar with a dash of black to keep it nice and dark and chocolatey uh, this one is the metallic gold so they're mostly metallics in here and it's going to keep it really nice and sparkling this color is my um, oh i'm so happy that i'm doing this one it's my i call it my berry delicious which i usually use the dark red like cool red uh phthalo <coughs> phthalo blue and a dash of black if i want <coughs> if i want it to go a real deep cherry <coughs> excuse me but this time i actually put in some of that um global uh what's it called now i have to go back and have a look at it but it's the it, it's kind of really highly pigmented and it's very very sort of watery but i tell you when you add it to your likewise colors the intensity absolutely pops it's just unbelievably gorgeous i will put a link there is a link for the global colors if you go on there and look up the acrylic paints you'll see it in there but yeah you give it a really good shake because all that very heavy pigmented color sits on the bottom and um yeah mix it with your with your likewise color and they just really really pop now this is the only color here the black that i've added floetrol to it um just to get that kind of bloom my pseudo bloom effect uh you know quick and easy i'm in for quick and easy uh, on just my ordinary acrylic paints this one's no house paints so yeah i'm going to swipe it and let's see what comes up
Wow, wow, wow. Their cells are just yeah, a cell a cell abrasion for sure. They're just popping up like anything. Um I decide to, I don't know why. Lost the plot. Um try to blow down the centre to get rid of the sort of definition line of the black, but I shouldn't worry about it because just a couple of balloon embellishments down there really set it off lovely, so I should learn my lesson that it doesn't need that. Um, it's just that I get so many comments, oh, I don't like the black line down, but I always kind of um, do something with it. And lots of artists that do a swipe do have a line um, and it looks, you know, looks fine, doesn't it really? So I suppose I should go by my gut feeling and I really at this point in time just want to balloon kiss down that centre but it is looking lovely and Julie you're forgetting that it's on a turner so yeah I'll just give it a little whiz there to um, try and stretch the cells or the paint out over the edges so I've got the edges of my monsteria leaf uh, covered as well but it is gorgeous as is just transferred it off my spinner onto a rack. I can't actually remember what was the reason for doing that because I am going to balloon kiss it and it would have been fine on there. But I guess that supposedly on the rack is obviously fine for drying. It won't stick to the surface of my um, stuff that I've got there on my spinner. So now for the kisses, kisses, kisses. Monsteria leaf, is it? Is that what they're called? Monsteria, Monsteria, Monsteria. So kind of difficult to swipe because of all the nooks and crannies, but look how it came out. Well, it's not dry yet, so I'll wait till it's dry. I might even put a coat of resin on it. But look at those absolute pseudo bloom effects in there. Yeah, the what I used squirted a good squirt in my purple was the dioxazine purple. These are high flow fluid acrylics from Global. They're very, very highly pigmented, but almost watery. So you have to, I basically used that to thin my uh, purple down and make it so much darker. So they're very highly pigmented. You only use a little bit, but they're great. Um, but look at the effects and the sparkle in there. I am loving that. So that resin would make a lovely trivet or... Hey, oh, there's lots of ideas, isn't there? Placemat, whatever, but... Oh yes, I did some balloon kissing <laughs> in there to get rid of any black spots, kind of. And they just are lovely. They're my signature to my artwork. So look at some of the effects in there. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Very happy with those colours. So I think I need to do like a, a nice big canvas with those colours together. Worked like magic. Oh, here we go. Beautiful. All right, my lovelies, thanks so much for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And look out for my art inspiration most days. I'll say bye for now. Take care.